Sometimes, if you're watching television and you're watching some action movie or something of that sort, you'll find the bad guys coming up and uh, uh, they'll grab, it'll be, uh, oh, Simon Legree with the, uh, with the train coming. They'll, they'll grab some sweet young thing and they'll put a gun to the poor woman's head and say, now, you have to do what I say or else it'll be your fault if this woman uh, dies. Uh, and of course, logic, and then of course the hero has to find, has to decide how he's going to respond uh, to that. It's a, it's, it's a normal thing to happen in movies. Uh, but of course, logically, um, as, as everyone recognizes, it's not the hero that would ever cause a person to die. It is the villain who is the murderer. And if the hero did nothing and the villain uh, slit the woman's throat, the villain would be a murderer and the hero would be uh, freed from any responsibility with that. It was the hero. It, that is, it was the villain who did the evil. Well, right now, that is the exact same thing that Russia is doing uh, with Ukraine. It has uh, massed uh, its troops on the Ukrainian border because it wants to go back to the good old Soviet era where they had all these uh, buffer countries between themselves in Europe that they could hold hostage uh, in, uh, and uh, keep doing whatever evil they are intending. Um, they have caused the problem and now are saying, you better do what we say or we're going to invade the Ukraine. Um, and of course, what they're requiring uh, to be done is absolutely unacceptable. This is, this is what Russia has always done. They are a malign actor, have been for a long, long time, really except for under Gorbachev when they tried to make some changes uh, with perestroika. Um, otherwise, you have the same thing as always. Uh, people running for power, people uh, accumulating power and money for themselves. And that is what Putin is doing. And he buys off his uh, 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 crony mob uh, bosses and, uh, and steals the good currency, the hard currency from the sovereign wealth of Russia and passes, his out, passes it out to his cronies who then uh, are in control while the income of normal Russians goes down and down and down. The point is, it's the same thing as Simon Legree in the movies. Uh, I'm holding these people hostage. You better do what I say. He causes the problem and then he uses the consequences of that problem to force other people to do what he wants. This is also the path that the Republican Party, well, what Trump specifically, and uh, the Re Republican Party is under uh, the uh, sway of Trump, and Trump, in my opinion, is completely under the sway of Putin, uh, because Trump, uh, beginning in 1990, when he lost all his money, uh, he, uh, he has been uh, laundering money through Deutsche Bank uh, for the Russian mob. Uh, since that time, uh, and uh, high-priced real estate in New York is the perfect, uh, perfect conduit uh, to be laundering large sums of Russian mob money, and that's how he's gained any money he has, which isn't very much at this point, because he has to have the Republican Party pay for his, uh, pay for the legal bills he's accumulating in the state of New York. He can't pay for them himself, so uh, he needs somebody else to pay for them. This is the same thing as uh, uh, voting rights. The Republicans have, uh, it's, it's very 1984 logic, slavery is freedom, as you recall, uh, and from 1984. Uh, the 
the right to vote, uh, the right for, in, a, in effect, representation, which is what the right to vote is. It's how we, as uh, bozo citizens, uh, have our input into what sort of representation we have. Thomas Jefferson said, the right of representation in government is a right of inestimable, inestimable value to citizens and formidable to despots only. The Republican Party is working hard to establish itself as a minority rule party. Uh, the, it's, it's, it's working hard as it loses and loses and loses the support of, uh, of citizens in the United States. It has to be able to maintain power and control while at the same time not having popular support within the country. And of course you do that by, uh, by suppressing voter uh, participation in the areas that might be opposed to your ideas and, uh, and supporting voter participation in the areas that are in favor of you and by doing a ton of gerrymandering. Uh, and uh, But it is the same, they have cre created the problem and now are using that problem to get what they want. Oh, we need to, we, we need voter integrity. Well, slavery means freedom. Voter integrity means fixing elections, uh, putting people in charge that will falsify election results for them. Uh, and that's what voter integrity means to the Republican Party right now. Why would they do this? Well, please don't. <laughs> The, the, the reason they would do that is power and money. There is no crime that they will not commit. Uh, there is no, uh, they will stick at naught uh, in their efforts for power and money. They will steal, they will kill, they will destroy, and beyond all that, they will cover it all up with a huge pile of lies, always with the purpose of, of working disunity and confusion and lack of trust in our government. 